Hello guys and welcome to my third game devlog video. Today I'll be showing you what I've been working on for the last week or two. First of all, I've added this uh, chat log you can see up here. Um, it's got two tabs. Uh, it has a debug tab, which has all sorts of debug information. Actually everything that goes to the standard output gets rerouted here, so that's quite useful. Usually when I would uh, when I wanted to check the debug, I would have to open a log text file outputted by the engine to see uh, the debug output. Now I can just see it right here as it happens in game. I don't even have to open a text file or anything like that. So in addition to that, I have this general tab here, which will be used for the majority of in-game uh, notification texts and uh, chat messages and stuff. Um, something I implemented as well are uh, server commands. Um, so each command uh, starts with a period, and I'll show you the help command for example. This command shows you all the available commands, as you can see there are only three right now, and only one that's actually useful. But this is just a proof of concept, I can add more into the system uh, at any time. Um, you can also use the help command to get help about a specific command. Uh, for example, if I want to um, help about the telly command, I would type dot uh, help telly. And if I would want to know what parameters that has, I would type this, and then, what the hell, that doesn't work apparently. Okay, I would type this, and then it would tell me what exactly uh, the arguments are that this command expects. I'll show you what this command does uh, later. So, something you might have noticed already um, is I vastly improved, well actually I just implemented the character movement synchronization. That's something that I didn't implement yet in the last video. But now it's in, now it looks a lot smoother. You can actually see the, the animations on the other clients. I also removed the collision between players because that's not really something you want. So another thing that I did this week was I finally finished the instancing uh, stuff that I mentioned in the last two videos. Um, I can show you that right now, actually, with uh, this help of this helpful command. Um, for example, if I... Let's go to map, to map 3. It's like an old map with nothing really in it. Should transport me there soon. There we go. Um, yeah, don't, don't mind like the ugly textures. This is just a proof of concept. So I just teleported to a different map, um, which is an instance map. If I go on this character and I go there as well, there we go. As you can see, they can't really see each other. That's because this instance is a private instance. So now I'll go to a public map again. This map is a public instance, I believe. I forgot my period. There we go. I'll transfer there. And on this character, we'll do that as well. There we go. So this is a public instance. You can see, well, you can see other people here. So those are instances. Um, and I'll quickly show you, because uh, I mentioned this in the last video, but I didn't, I couldn't show it to you. Now I can actually show it to you. Um, as you can see, all right. So these are two different world servers. Uh, right now, this one's not actually doing anything because all the players, being myself and my other clients, uh, are on this world server. As you can see, if I jump, it's the server that receives that uh, message. But if I teleport to that other map again, you'll see that I'll get transferred to this server. Now I'm actually on this server. This is useful for a couple of reasons. For example, I'll show you what happens if one of these servers crashes. Um, so I'm going to close this server now to simulate a crash. There we go. As you can see, it automatically reboots itself as well, which is very useful. Um, but as you can see, only one of the, only the people uh, that are in the instance itself actually get disconnected. Since the other world server is still up, this character is completely unaffected. I can just keep on playing. And it's also pretty quickly just to log back in. As you can see, it just recreates the instance instantly. So another small feature that I implemented uh, is area chat. Um, this is simply just sending text messages to people that are near you. For example, if I type something here, hello, you'll see that this client here also receives that. Um, but if I go really far away, let's go far away. 
there we go, that's far enough. If I type hello now, you'll see that the other client doesn't receive it because I'm not near him. And if I type it here, it should, yeah, it should work again. I should really turn off the the input, the player input while I'm typing in this text box, by the way. So there you go. Uh, that's what I've been doing basically the last two weeks on the game. Uh, it might look a bit short, but this took significantly longer than I initially expected. But I'm glad it's done anyway. So that's it for this week's video. Thank you very much for watching. I'll try to upload sooner next time. If you liked the video, please leave a like. Uh, you can also subscribe. And I'll see you next time.